Broke up with a guy 10 years ago, his wife contacted me a week ago. We dated when I was in college. It was long distance the entire time. He was a soldier in Afghanistan when we met up again and started dating. We'd know each other since grade school and reconnected. Once he came back home, I'd fly down to his base once a month to visit. After about a year and a half of that, I'd flown down and we'd gone to the lake for a day. There'd been one girl acting weird and later that night a message had popped up while he was in the shower. He had been saying he wanted to marry her. Cool, made that easy for him and I ended it and flew back home. That was the last time I ever spoke to him. Last week, I got a message on Facebook from his wife. She asked me if she could ask me something woman to woman. I said sure. She asked why we broke up 10 years ago. He had told her I cheated. He had been the one cheating. She asked me about things he told her I had made him do. Things like checking his receipts from restaurants to make sure he wasn't drinking. Told her I would leave notes for waitresses when they didn't treat him right for being military. All this time, he'd been basically using me to gaslight her. Using me as this evil ex-girlfriend to keep her in line, to keep her from questioning his behaviors too closely, because she didn't want to be like me did she? They have small kids and she's divorcing him because he's doing the same things he did to me, cheating and lying. It's weird but I'd assumed he'd grown up and matured, been a good person to them. It made me sad he wasn't. I'm glad I was able to give her information that helped her feel like her choice was the best one, but I hated that someone like me, who hasn't really been intertwined in her life, had those answers. Not sure why I'm saying anything but I feel so strongly about being there for other women and even though this really isn't the type of support, I thought we'd need to give, it's still important. You did the right thing. I'm glad you escaped him. I'm glad you could help her out, too. She probably needed a sounding board as well as the extra information on him. I'm sure she felt well supported by you. Never trust a man who tells you immediately and regularly about his evil psycho crazy ex. I'm glad you helped her. Lundy Bancroft in his book on abusive and controlling men, why does he do that? Has a whole chapter on the ways so many of these guys use tales of the evil ex to manipulate newer partners. I guess you had a lucky escape. You're a good person for giving her insight and I'm glad she was able to trust you. I hope she gets away from him as well. Love to see women loving and supporting other women three foot. I wish I had this experience. Twice X's new GFs have reached out to me for more information and twice they've decided I was a liar and stayed with him anyway, only for him to cheat within the year and leave them. Then they want to be buddies. Maybe I need to move. Women gotta support women. The sisterhood at work they've tried to belittle these networks women have as just gossip or backchat, but we know they are lifelines. I feel like we should have dating references from past relationships. Then we would get a balanced perspective and could tell if we were being manipulated before too much damage was done. This is a life pro tip I give to all my younger friends, nieces, and daughter. Pay attention to how he speaks about and treats other women. It's a red flag if he is disrespectful, rude, or critical. Because sooner or later, that is how he is going to treat you. This is crazy. This happened to me too why first serious boyfriend cheated on me and dumped me. Nine years later, his soon-to-be ex-wife is messaging me trying to get some answers. We have kind of created a friendship over this and I'm trying to help her as much as I can. I attributed his treatment of me to immaturity and assumed when he married this girl that he had grown up and become a good man. I guess not. Girl code seriously, we have to protect each other from gaslighting and the men who use their exes as leverage. I won't get into my situation with my ex, but he had so many, it wasn't triangulation, it was a straight up web and there's so many lies you can't get to them all. I'm happy you're both free from his lies and cheating. Best of luck to the ex with the kids. This was my situation six months ago. He had triangulated us masterfully and even tried a quadrilateral move when he brought over a woman from Russia, 
whilst he was still legally married. I have been helping ungaslight his wife by conversing and providing evidence that he compulsively lied about everything and anything. He made her out to be a villain, and then to her made me seem like a crazy psycho woman to the point she considered buying a gun for protection. It's sick what narcissists can do without shame. Being honest is probably helping her come to terms with a very difficult decision, given they have young children. She probably knew he was a lying piece of shit for a while but still needs a bit of validation and you gave that to her. As someone who left a shitty marriage to a narcissist a year ago, thank you for being honest and doing the woman-to-woman -woman talk. I also have kids with said narcissist and it's a very hard decision to make. Validation and finding a common ground with another woman in who was in the same position really does help. This is the more personal version of posting here to ask for advice about someone you already know you should leave. Thank you for helping her. Uh, this behavior makes me sick I have recently found out my ex that cheated on me has been telling everyone I cheated on her. It's been two years I never told a soul that she cheated on me it really hurt to find out. Suddenly it makes more sense why all our shared friends no longer speak to me. This is a very similar vibe to when there's a drunk girl at the club who needs help and other women step in to make sure she gets home safe. Your paths only cross in one specific moment, but it turns out to be an important moment. Yuck. Imagine being gaslit by this dude for 10 years. You're lucky. Thanks for being there for her, even thought you didn't want to be. We really need to have each other's backs, or just show more kindness to each other. I'm glad you both got away from him, hopefully this asshat will finally learn his lesson. It is very good that you gave her that information. I fear that in your shoes, I might have cut her off right at the beginning of the conversation saying this was none of my business, but this turned out to be really vital and actually, I would have liked to have helped it wasn't trivial or gossiping about him or anything wow. Glad you helped her. How many people actually mature and change over a decade? It would be nice if we had some scientific study of infidelity but it's one of those human things that matters and is hard to measure. Zero? 2080? 5050? 8020? Pretty sure we can agree it's not everyone. Face screaming in fear I'd like to believe it's not zero either, but I suppose it's possible. Face screaming in fear. He got used to the double life, apparently, and kept going with it. People are insane sometimes pensive face. She suspected he was gaslighting her and you confirmed it and allowed her to accept that he was not to be trusted. Good for you. That was probably so validating for her. Good job OP. I'm not a woman but I can tell you if one of my ex's new partners contacted me and wanted to ask questions about my ex absolutely. I would help them out I would do exactly what you did I don't have that many exes cause. I never had much luck in the dating scene before I met my wife and my wife is a whole lot better than all of those exes. But of course we have to help our other fellow humans. I think about all the times in my life I heard with some degree of skepticism, the seemingly outrageous claims some woman was making about a man I knew. I was never so thick as to dismiss them outright, but I didn't necessarily give them the consideration they deserved either. We all need to be better about not just believing a man who describes his ex as crazy. They're A.R.E. crazy exes, but I bet not one-tenth the number as men would have us believe. I keep waiting for one of my ex-husband's wives to be his on his fourth marriage to contact me to find out why I left him. So far, none have. I could have saved them all a lot of pain. Sorry to hear your ex used lies about you to control and abuse someone else totally normal for you to feel gross and weird about it. It's horrible that your ex did that and it's a lot of information to process all at once. Great job though on setting the record straight and helping out a fellow woman. Let's all keep doing our best to lift ourselves and each other up. Including men, but also fuck up slime bag ex, although maybe in a roundabout way getting caught being horrible will lead to him changing and being a better person but I won't hold my breath. People don't change. You're lucky if you get to know someone when they're too young to know to cover up what a jerk they really are.